In today's episode, we explore the enigmatic helicoprion that gives scientists a headache studying the fossils. We also admire the lizard-eating sovereign of the sea. Lastly, Carnifex carolinensis walks on two feet, although its family members walk on all fours. Synognathus. The first physical feature you'd notice about this creature is that it has hair like most mammals. This is because it's part of an order called Therapsids, which are distant relatives of mammals. Synognathus lived about 251 million years ago, while the earliest mammals appeared around 200 million years ago. These creatures died long before dinosaurs came and lived in the modern-day South America and Africa. If they live today, they would be about the size of a modern wolf and have long, powerful jaws they used to hold their prey down. After that, it would use its teeth, which had sharp canines and incisors, to kill and devour their food comprised of small herbivores. They hunted in packs and were incredibly fast when chasing their prey. They often tucked their short limbs under their body to ease movement. Paleontologists believe this animal had a thick cone of hair and may have given birth to live young and laying eggs. Most shocking is that they were warm-blooded, unlike most cold-blooded reptiles of its time. Estemenosuchus The Estemenosuchus may look like a blend of rhino and hippo and triceratops, but it was neither a mammal or a dinosaur. It was a synapsida, an ancestor of mammals. This animal lived 267 million years in the modern-day Russia. Researchers are unsure about its actual size, but they say it measures 15 to 20 feet long and weighs nearly 1,000 pounds. It was an omnivore, carnivore, and herbivore. Its teeth were sharp, suggesting it used to eat flesh. As with many therapsids, scientists are still confused about the type of diet it eats. Its big body was good at digesting food, unlike what was earlier speculated. It also had short legs with its mouth reaching the ground. This meant that the animal had an ideal body for grazing. This animal was one of those that went extinct during the great dying that occurred about 252 million years ago. The large size of the Estemosuchus suggests it was a gigantothermic. This means the animal had a low surface area to body mass ratio, resulting in the outer tissue layers insulating the inner layers. This increases the temperature of the animal's base, making it a warm-blooded creature. Helicoprion The Helicoprion appeared about 40 million years before dinosaurs. While they looked a lot like sharks, they weren't shark species. They were rather related to ratfish and chimeras, and they went extinct about 20 million years before the earliest dinosaurs evolved. One of the most outstanding features of this animal is its set of spiral teeth called a whorl. This creature was first discovered by scientists one century ago. The problem with this discovery was that most of the animal was made of cartilage. It took scientists a long time to decipher whether whorls were part of the animal's body. A more detailed investigation revealed that the whorls were found at the bottom of their jaw and worked like a buzzsaw. When it bit into something, it would spin backwards and cut through its prey like a serrated steak knife. Aside from their terrifying bite, helicoprions were large and measured up to 40 feet long. Nothosaurus. The first species of Nothosaurus appeared about 230 million years ago. By then, dinosaurs had not existed on our planet. There were about 13 subspecies of Nothosaurus. They had long and flexible necks and broad heads, and their mouths were full of needle-like teeth. Scientists believe this animal measured 13 feet long and lived on land and water. They say this because this creature looks like a seal. While their webbed toes and robust limbs made them swim excellently, they didn't chase their prey on land or water. Rather, they laid in wait for the animal and ambushed it as it walked by. Their prey consists of fish and other marine creatures. Nothosaurus is one of the most important marine reptiles in the fossil record. It lived in virtually all parts of the world during the Triassic period, as fossil specimens have been discovered in North Africa, Eastern Asia, and Western Europe. There is also speculation that this creature was the distant ancestor of the giant Plesiosaurus, Cryptoclitus, and Lyoplerodon. 
Dunkleosteus. If we existed 400 million years ago, we would have met the era when Dunkleosteus was called the king of the ocean. The armored fish was bigger than the modern day whale. It measured up to 33 feet long and weighed four tons. Aside from its mammoth size, it had an incredible bite force calculated at 1,100 pounds of force. Their bite was as powerful as a modern alligator or Tyrannosaurus rex. This creature preyed on sharks, and their powerful teeth aided in their operation. These huge creatures were so fearsome that humans wouldn't have stood a chance with them had they lived today. Thankfully, humans didn't see a living Dunkleosteus because they died almost 375-360 million years ago in one of the major mass extinctions called the Late Devonian Extinction. During this onslaught, 79-87% to of all ocean species died. The Lateracon Serophagus the Lateracon serophagus is the scientific name for the lizard-eating sovereign of the sea. It got its catchy name because it ate animals as big as itself. This wasn't a big deal, considering that the animal was the size of a bus. This 28-foot animal first appeared 8 million years after Earth's biggest extinction, called the Permian Extinction. This incident occurred 252 million years ago and left 95% of all life extinct. The Thalaricon is the oldest apex predator, proving that marine life fully recovered from the greatest mass extinction in history. This animal killed its prey by using its 4-inch conical teeth to grab its prey, consisting of squid and slippery fish. This animal went extinct 90 million years ago, about 25 million years before dinosaurs breathed. Unlike similar species, this animal has 7 centimeter large blade-like teeth and functions like the teeth of a terrestrial theropod. These specialized teeth help them capture their prey. Researchers speculate that they may have hunted smaller ichosaurs. Dimetrodon Early scientists confused dimetrodons for dinosaurs. While they looked alike and are often used in dinosaur toy collections, they were not reptiles. Rather, they were synapsids and looked like mammals rather than reptiles. They didn't exist simultaneously as dinosaurs, as they were extinct about 50 million years before the first dinosaurs evolved. While they lived, they were apex predators and were the first known land carnivore to use serrated teeth to eat other animals. They measured 5.5 to 15 feet long and had a spiny back fin that makes them easily recognizable. While there's a debate as to what the spiny back fin was used for, it's believed that it was used to attract mates and generate heat for its body. As with many prehistoric animals discovered in the 19th century, Dimetrodon has a complicated fossil history. A year before it was officially named, Edward Drinker Cope called the fossil he found in Texas a different name. Two decades later, another paleontologist had another name for the same creature. While many scientists have classified this animal as a character in folklore, others think it exists. Please tell us your stance after watching this clip. Anostrancevia alexandri The Anostrancevia alexandri was the largest member of the Gnopsidid, a mammal-like reptile that was part of the Theropsid class. They measured 12 feet long, and their head alone was 2 feet big. If they had lived to this day, they'd have been a top predator around their habitat. The last time they were seen on Earth was 299 to 252 million years ago. Somewhere in modern Russia, this creature had two six-inch long canine teeth, which they used to rip the chunks of flesh from their prey before swallowing it whole. It didn't even spare armored animals as their canines were so strong that they cut through them. Their powerful neck helped them tear out the meat. The first fossil attributed to Anostrin C.V. Alexandri was found in Arkhangelsk Oblast, near northern Divina. It remains the largest and most complete remains of Gorgonopsids to be identified. Its remains suggest that its skull was around 24 inches long. Carnifex carolinensis while there's limited information about the Carnifex carolinensis, scientists say the animal was 9 feet long and was a member of the Crocodilomorpha family, a lineage of modern crocodiles. 
So far, only two fossils have been found, but they've helped unearth some of the mysteries about the animal. They're considered dominant predators that lived 231 million years ago in modern-day North Carolina. They evolved before dinosaurs and were top predators before the rise of dinosaurs. Unlike other members of the Crocodilomorpha superorder, this species walked on two feet. Imagine a giant crocodile coming after you on two feet. I'm guessing that the thoughts of that really sent chills down your spine. It had a blade-like teeth, which justifies its name, Butcher. It fed on armored reptiles and early mammals. They died during the Triassic-Jurassic extinction event that occurred 201 million years ago. Until next time, adios.